Hello friends, this is Nurmal here for Technique and today we are going to test out the gaming performance of the new Genie F103. So this is the new device under the F series and it's a fashion and uh, a lifestyle device. So as you can see it's a really good device in terms of design. Now we'll uh, test out the gaming performance of this device. We'll see how uh, uh, good the device is with respect to gaming. It has a 5 inch HD display. It's powered by 1.3 GHz uh, quad-core MediaTek chipset with 2 GB RAM and 16 GB internal storage. So as usual, we'll play 4 games, the Riptide GP2, Asphalt 8 Airborne, uh, Dead Trigger 2 and Real Racing 3. So let's start off with Riptide GP2. So now we're playing Riptide GP2. So here you can see the performance looks uh, pretty decent, no issues as um, with respect to lag and uh, even frame skips are not uh, happening right now. So this looks like pretty decent in terms of the overall performance. Uh, the display is also pretty vibrant and uh, uh, the touch response seems uh, pretty good. So the overall graphic quality also looks pretty decent. There is 2 GB RAM that's uh, helping the device. So now we do see some uh, frame skips happening. The initial uh, start of the game that is not happening now we can see some frame skips the viewing angles are also pretty good uh, thanks to the IPS panel so now we have started with uh, asphalt 8 airborne so we have set the graphic quality to the medium graphic level because most of the mid-range phones work uh, perfectly with the mid-range, I mean the, uh, the, the medium graphic setting and the higher graphic setting might not be really uh, smooth on uh, mid-range phones. So that's the reason we are set to uh, medium graphics. So right now the game looks pretty decent uh, in terms of the overall performance. No lags or crashes happening. And uh, the overall performance looks decent. Even frame skips are not happening uh, often. So this is Asphalt 8 Airborne on uh, the Geony F103. It's powered by the MediaTek uh, quad-core chipset and uh, the 2 gigabyte ram uh, does help uh, in uh, gaming so our performance uh, of asphalt 8 airborne is pretty satisfactory uh, no major issues and even the the display is pretty vibrant as i said before genie has been uh, pretty good in terms of the display in uh, the mid-range phones and uh, the same is the case with uh, uh, the uh, genie f103 Now since we have played two games let's see the temperature so initially it was around the 36 degrees now it has risen to uh, I mean initially it was around the 32-33 degrees now we can see it's 42.6 so that, that's the maximum we are getting you know, even in some areas it is even 45-46 degrees that's a pretty high temperature for a device to heat up most of the devices are in the 40 marks so here we can see it's risen to 45 degrees that's a pretty high temperature you can see this area does get uh, heated now let's see the display the display temperature seems to be okay 
it's not that hot it's 38 degrees so now let's move on to the next game and see the performance so let's play dead trigger 2 So now we are playing Dead Trigger 2 and here again you can see the performance looks pretty good. No lag uh, here and the other graphic quality also looks pretty good. So now we are playing Real Racing 3. So here again uh, the performance looks pretty smooth. So no major issues uh, here. Even the graphic quality looks pretty good. So now we are completed with 4 games, now let's see the temperature. So it's uh, 48 degrees, so 48 point, uh, even 49.5 is there. So almost close to 50 degrees, that's pretty high for a mid-range phone. So the temperature increase is uh, pretty prominent here. Most of the mid-range phones we tested uh, were around the 41-42 degrees mark. So here we have uh, 49.5, almost 50 degrees, close to 50 degrees. On the rear panel and on the display it's around um, the 40 degrees uh, uh, mark so we can see 41 is the maximum so device does get uh, heated up uh, uh, quite a bit uh, and goes up to 50 degrees that's kind of high uh, for a device um, uh, in this category so that's the gaming performance of this device so overall we would say the gaming performance is pretty good uh, for a mid-range phone it does provide a decent experience no major lag or issues Although frame skips do happen, uh, you can definitely play most of the games on this device. So that's the gaming experience of um, the Genie F103 with uh, these four games. So hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.